I think just saying now a car is used 10% and tomorrow it will be used 50%, so we need five times less cars is not really thinking through the second order repercussions. Because the first thing is, if you use your car 50% and not just 10% of the time, it will wear faster, break down faster, and will have to be replaced faster. The second thing is, if we mutualize mobility, it will be cheaper. If it will be cheaper, there will be more people participating in mobility. So the demand for vehicles actually will go up. The second thing is um, already the percentage of driver's licenses or made by young people is going down. So it seems that the car as an expression of somebody's self is not as important anymore for the younger generation. Car companies, car makers, have already embraced the idea of substituting a physical product by a driving experience, by either bringing up or founding new companies or by actively acquiring startups in that space. And if you look very closely, by repositioning how they communicate their brand message. In the past, it was just a physical product or how the physical product did behave in its operation. In the future, you have the physical product, but you also have the mobility experience, the services, the ecosystem, the community around it. Now, it could still be freedom, but it's freedom not as in a physical product, it's freedom as an experience.